what is your next movie? We're going to go with the movie that you and I actually saw together. Ooh, okay. Let's take think? us back to 2017. What's happening at the time, Antonio? Oh, fuck. Uh, fidget spinners uh, happened. Uh, the Nintendo fidget Switch spinners. launched. Um, the iPhone X Any came big out. movies coming out that year? Oh, man. None come to mind. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Power Rangers 2017 came out. Um, the first It movie came out. I don't really think there was any other ones other than that, though. <laughs> No, I think movie of the year. I think it was actually at the Oscars. Um, I don't the know what emoji you could be movie twenty seventeen. <sighs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Yeah. You're Speaking right. of which, you still have that movie ticket. I do. That's I do one you're holding near and ticket. dear to your heart. I do. Yes. I I have a little collection of movie tickets that I that I've kept for a while, and that is one of them that I that I have that I recently came across while i was uh, cleaning my room and uh yeah the emoji movie is definitely a movie uh it's something i don't think you could deny that yeah but we we did go to see this in the theater uh like a couple days after it came out i think in 2017 um and uh yeah like you said like movie of the year is like the most definitely my most anticipated movie of the year it's it's funny because i actually i had to think for a minute like what other movies did come out in 2017 because i don't remember many other ones that came out other Mm -hmm. than the emoji movie (laughs) you know um (laughs) i was just trying to avoid confronting it but uh yeah that was definitely a movie with someone like james corden in it james you're forgetting that tj miller Anna TJ Ferris, Patrick Stewart, Patrick Stewart. He played the shit, the shit emoji. Yeah. How could you not love that? <laughs> you know? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. The emoji movie is an infamous but movie. Maybe not. For I remember movies. this movie being very okay to, to explain to the audience. This is a movie we went and saw because we knew how bad it would be. We did yeah. not watch it because we were looking for a great piece of cinema to no, watch. No, we knew it would be dog shit. Um, yeah. Do, do you think anybody thought it would be good? <laughs> like, do you, any, do you think anyone... I can't think of a single person. Maybe really young kids, they're like, yeah. oh yeah, emojis. This they're like, great. I love emojis. These things on my phones, and now they're making a movie out of them? Holy shit. Yeah. Sign me the fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. I don't know, but... No, I think most people. I think most people that went to go see it were gonna went to see it because they they wanted to. They knew it was gonna be bad. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. There was a lot of like, uh, a lot of like people memeing on the movie. I remember like Jack's films, for example. He got invited to pre- to the premiere uh, because of how much he like made fun of it. Uh, and um, yeah, I I remember just a lot of people like just shitting on it. And then I think when it came out, like, you know, I, I remember people definitely like felt justified (laughs) in their shitting on it. Um, I mean, at least they weren't disappointed. They knew it would be bad. They went and saw it knowing that. And if, if you're going to the movie, I don't think there's anything to be disappointed if that's exactly what you're getting out of the movie. That's true. That's very, very true. So at least they had a set expectations and nothing was, disappointed upon Mm -hmm. that's yeah that's that's true but i don't think and i but but the 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 thing that sucks in a sense is like people already had low expectations like and i i think like like you said i think they were exactly met they they were never surprised by the movie like the movie did not Mm -hmm. like it was never like oh wow this is actually kind of better than i thought it's like no it was either it met your expectations or it was worse than your expectations (laughs) you know what i mean there's Um, no it's like oh my god that was so good they should be yeah. making more movies like this that never happened mm-hmm. don't know no no thank you um, um so but i'm curious like what what did like like for yourself like what did you think like critically speaking like what it like did you think there was any positives of the movie did you think i did like the world building they had okay. it like the idea of like traveling a, around a phone to different apps and different like in this sense, world's experiences. I thought that was pretty cool, but the way they executed it wasn't the best. And being it being tied so directly to emoji, which like is always a set feeling or idea, then yeah. it kind of ruins the idea of being able to travel around a phone and see all these different worlds inside and out. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I kind of, I kind of see what you mean. I think like, like the, it's like when you're making, when the pitch of the movie is what if emojis could talk there, like what more could you do with that? premise other than like they travel through a phone you know what i mean like, other than being like oh this is an eggplant but it's also a dick oh like whoa oh that's like God. like so high brow humor dude like oh my god peach yeah. emoji the peach emoji the shit emoji holy Damn. oh my god what did oh yeah james corden played the high five high five, five yeah my yeah. favorite character like every time he was on screen, I, never, I was just like, I banned that emoji from my phone just because of him. <laughs> yeah, I can't look at that emoji the same ever again. Um, but yeah, no, I mean, like, I think like the, I don't think the premise like overall made sense. Like, I agree with you that like the like the idea was kind of cool. Like, oh, you're traveling through these worlds with a phone. They kind of like, they kind of mm -hmm. like um, uh, portrayed it in kind of a cool way. But like, what was even the premise of the movie? It was like there's this dude. Or like, or like, okay, the meh emoji, right? Uh, he doesn't want to be a meh emoji. He's like, I have other emotions or something. Yeah, yeah. But why does he travel through the phone? I don't remember what the motivation was. <laughs> Could not tell you. <laughs> and then he like goes on this adventure with the high five and the, the girl <laughs> emoji, the princess emoji. I think she ended up being... And then they fall in love. And they end up in Twitter. They end up in Twitter somehow. They end up in YouTube and they watch Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. That's a key yeah. part of the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then there's a boy in the real world who likes a girl. Oh, and then <laughs> I think it was like a point where he sends her like a really cool emoji. And then that's why she like falls for him or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh, modern love. It's so stupid. This movie is so stupid. No, it's great. It's a good movie. Um, what do we think people review? It so great that mm -hmm. I am going to predict that it has an audience score of 25 mm -hmm. and a critic score of 15. That's pretty That's pretty on the nose of what I would be thinking, honestly. I I mean, I'm obviously I'm going to differentiate, you know, from you just for the sake of the game, but I would definitely think I'm going to say lower for the audience than what you said. I'm going to say I'm gonna say twenty one percent for audience, okay. and I'm gonna say I'm gonna say ten percent for for critics. I'm gonna say exactly 10%. as shipwrecked here. Uh, I think that they they hated it pretty bad. Um, let's see, emoji movie. Um. Oh wow. Six yeah. percent. Six percent and thirty six. So I think that's another <laughs> let's see. I think that's another point for each of us. One point each. One point each, yep. yeah. Okay, yeah. Six percent. Wow. I didn't think we could get lower than than the road chip, but apparently I was wrong. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Can wow. we go lower? <laughs> Can we go lower? Yeah, that's that's the question. I don't really think many of the other movies I have are are going to be any worse than that though <laughs> i can't even think of a movie that would be lower than six percent no. off the top of my head no i really can't either i don't know i i, I the, the emoji movie is bad that's all that i have to say i don't like like i i don't even really know if it's worth watching just to see how bad it is because i it's so like forgettable probably not you know what i mean like it's not. It's not even like worth talking about in a, in in some regard, other than the fact that it exists. You know what I mean? Yeah. If uh, we're having a hard time putting, oh, I could hear myself. Oh. Uh, if we're having a hard time. How about now? Oh, you're you're good. Okay. Yeah, it's better. Okay. If we're having a hard time putting the movie together, like plot wise mm -hmm. as a team, then I don't think there's any reason to go see this movie. No. And it has a pretty short runtime, anyways. I think. Yeah, I don't think it was in the theater for that long. Um, no. I, I remember it came to Netflix like almost immediately after it came out. I think that's kind of amazing. Yeah. Thirty-six percent audience score that it still came to Netflix. I mean, if it's yeah. a cheap deal for them, mm -hmm. sure, by all means. Yeah, I guess I don't know. Uh, I, I, it's weird because I, I think I know like maybe like one other person who actually thought it wasn't too bad. <laughs> But I still think, like, like, like I, I wonder if, like, 
after it came out and like kind of the the like the shitting on it era kind of ended like maybe some people mm-hmm. saw it and were like oh that's kind of cute it's just like it's you know it's just it's an innocent little movie but um i just think it's just like i just don't think it should have ever existed you know what i mean i just don't <laughs> think there was any i mean it, it, we got some good think- laughs out of it out of the idea of it so this was like the first movie of a certain era of animated movies i think they're like I don't know how to describe it, but it's like low quality, low return animated movies that started coming out. And this was like the very first one to do it. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean, because there was another movie that came out that I was going to potentially bring up. um, And and, and it's very similar in the premise. uh, Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. That movie is very similar in the sense that like... It's like, you know, they're going through a bunch of like internet based worlds and uh, I don't think it was reviewed very well because it's it's a movie that ages like like milk. You know what I mean? Because like so many of the references that they give are like outdated uh, in this movie and in Wreck-It Ralph too. Um, mm-hmm. They uh, Miranda Sings makes a cameo in Wreck-It Ralph too. Uh, so, you know, what more can you say about think... that? <laughs> but I oh, know she's not. But yeah, uh, no, I kind of know what you mean though. Like there was like a lot of kind of like phoning it in and animated movies that kind of came out after this. Mm 